Hey guys, it's Jason. Today I'm making a bug-sized microbot. And what I've done is I've stripped this old vibration motor out of uh, an old flip phone. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut the ribbons off of here, which I don't need. And I've cut the head off an old toothbrush, which I'm gonna use as the body. So I wanna make sure that the wobbler uh, spins freely in order to power my little bot. I wanna make a little slide switch. Uh, so I grabbed this straw from an old can of uh, brake cleaner and I'm gonna cut a channel in the side. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a bare wire and I'm gonna run it uh, through a little section that I cut off. And this is gonna act as my switch. So the way I do this is I, I cut a short piece of copper and I'm gonna, I'm gonna fold over the, the ends and then I'm gonna bend a section of it through. Now this piece that I bend up will act as like the little lever to operate the switch back and forth. So once I've made this little lever, uh, I go ahead and trim the copper to size, and then I'm gonna go ahead and loop both of the ends over. And uh, one of the loops is gonna make contact with the battery, and the other uh, will have a wire attached. So once that part's done, I just uh, work the lever back and forth to make sure that uh, everything moves freely. So the wire I've been using, it's just a piece of Cat5 cable or communication line. So I'm gonna use another pair of this. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this pair, I'm gonna strip the ends off, and this is gonna be my leads to my uh, little vibration motor. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this set up in my little clamp device uh, so I can solder the connections to the positive and negative terminal of the motor. Now uh, on the positive end, I take the wire and I, I cut it uh, short and then I'm gonna put a little loop in, uh, in the end. And this is actually gonna be what my battery sits on as it sits on, on the brush, brush head. Now the motor will run on uh, one and a half or three volts. So uh, since I wanna try and see what a little more power would do, I go ahead and use some of the, some of the tape to secure two batteries to get, together to give it the three volts I'm, I'm looking for. Now I decided to mount the slide switch right on top of the motor. Uh, this will put it in position to make good contact with the batteries. So I'm just using some hot glue uh, on both sides and I just wanna make sure that the copper wire doesn't touch uh, where the terminal leads are on the motor. And so now, now that the switch is in place, I'm gonna go ahead and take the other uh, lead and I'm gonna trim it to length. And so once I get that stripped, I'm going to connect that to the back side of the switch uh, and gently solder that in position as well. And then once it's soldered, uh, before I actually put it on the, the brush head, I'm going to go ahead and check it against the battery to make sure everything uh, functions properly. And at this point, I go ahead and cut some double-sided tape and uh, I'm going to use that as my pad to mount the whole motor and uh, battery assembly right onto the head of the brush. And uh, when I'm mounting it, I just want to make sure that uh, the coil sits uh, on top so that when I set the batteries on, I make good contact, but it's not close enough to the switch. Uh, I want to be able to work the switch on and off, so I just got to leave just enough gap so that once it's in an off position, it stays put. Uh, but as you can see, once it's switched on, this little, uh, this little guy wants to rock and roll. And uh, I'm going to experiment a little bit by trimming some of the bristles and see if I can get it to change different directions and uh, do a couple other tricks. Uh, it was pretty fun making this little bot, uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, uh, please like and subscribe and share and all that other good stuff. So I'll see you again. Thanks.